um, that I do because I'm a coffee fiend. And if you want to limit your caffeine or try to get away from some of the coffee, um, which you don't have to do for a cleanse, you really don't. But if you feel like you're addicted to caffeine and you need to like come back down a little bit and keep the levels really low to help cleanse your body, um, then yeah. This is what I use. I use the roasted dandelion root. Um, the roasted dandelion root. This you can get it at any grocery store, I would think. Um, and it's because it's roasted, it kind of has that coffee feel to it. And it doesn't have any caffeine, but um, it will give you that sense of coffee. Now, I won't recommend anyone who is a caffeine addict like myself, I would not recommend um, going cold turkey because you will have horrible, horrible headaches. Um, so tea, you know, green tea is a, not only is a fat metabolizer and it speeds up your metabolism, it's great antioxidants for you, it has caffeine, so it will help, you know, take the edge off of that <laughs> addiction. So I drink a, tea, a lot of green tea during my cleanses. Um, another thing that I take, as I'm running through everything, is nettle leaf. Um, I actually got this at the magic shop. If you have a good herb supplier, um, you may be able to find nettle tea in like a health food store or something. Um, but if you have a good herb supplier, you can get nettle leaf. Actually, nettle is one of the best um, like health tonic teas that you can you can take. It is extremely high in vitamin A and C, which if you don't know, vitamins A and C are the absolute best vitamins there are for your skin. Um, vitamin A is toxic at uh, certain levels, so you can't take a whole lot of vitamin A, but you're not going to have a problem with the T. Um, but don't start taking a lot of vitamin A um, supplements, is what I'm, asking, what I'm saying. Vitamin C is water-soluble, so you almost, you know, you, I'm sure there is a toxic level for vitamin C, but it would be really hard for you to reach it. I, I mean, vitamin C, it will just, you'll just pee it out. <laughs> um, but vitamin C is absolutely wonderful for inflammation. It's an anti-inflammatory. Um, it's immune system building. It is amazing for your skin. It helps to restore some of the collagen, those little fine lines and things. And it will help clear up any splotchiness or, or um, you know, vitamin A and retinol and things. Those are good for acne and stuff. But vitamin C will also help. So there you go. Um, but this also, it's, it cleanses, it helps cleanse your blood, it helps cleanse your kidneys and your liver. So it's just a great all-around tonic. And I will drink this usually in the evenings, but I'll drink at least one cup a day. So nettle leaf. Um, a few other things that I do like to do for cleansing. Um, cranberry. Cranberry juice. Now make sure it's whole cranberry juice, not cocktail or anything. Um, it's absolutely wonderful for your kidneys. And um, if you have kidney stones or have problems with kidney stones, definitely try that because cranberry is great for that. Um, I actually make a tea with um, cranberry. Or right now, I actually am using pomegranate acai berry because those are all super high in vitamin C and, and antioxidants. But I make a cocktail with um, the juice of one lemon, uh, maybe an ounce or two of the pure pomegranate acai, or you could use cranberry, and um, maybe an inch or two um, macerated or smashed um, ginger root. Because the ginger root's going to really heat things up and get things moving and, and help uh, flush everything faster. And these are some of the things that, um, oh, and I'll put boiling water over it and make a tea out of it, and I'll drink that in the mornings. Um, gives you a ton of energy. You're going to feel great. Some other um, things. Um, and feel free to, to email me or comment me for any more details because it is so hard to get this into like one small uh, video, which is why this is a two-parter. <laughs> but um, some of the other things that you can do besides eating to help with your cleanse, internal cleansing, this is a time I do a lot of meditation and I do a lot of stress management. Um, chamomile teas, lavender teas, things that will help calm and soothe the nerves. Um, there's actually, I found this, I take a lot of hot baths, 
during this time. And this is actually, I know you can't read it or anything, but this is a detoxification aid. It is a bunch of essential oils, an essential oil blend. And I'll read what all is in here so you could uh, maybe make your own. But um, this smells wonderful. And it's supposed to help draw out toxins through your skin and your bath water. Now, Epsom salt will do the same thing. Um, so if you want to take an Epsom salt bath, that will do the same thing. But this has uh, grapefruit, orange, juniper berry. Now, those are all really high in vitamin C. So um, Patchouli, rosemary, lemon, mechang, black pepper, and vetiver. Um, so yeah, I thought this was an interesting cocktail. It smells like grapefruit. That's the first thing I smell. Um, it smells great. But it's supposed to help your circulatory system uh, moving a little bit faster, and it'll help leach some of those toxins out. Um, sea salt, Epsom salt, <clears throat> anything like that is going to do something similar. It's going to open up your pores and help leach out some of those toxins that way. Um, dry brushing is another technique to get the circulatory system moving and help move those toxins out a little faster. Um, anything, like go get a massage, go get a facial. If you can't, you know, afford to go to the spa, then do your own spa at home. Um, you know, get a bowl of, of heated water and put some, um, like very small amount though, um, essential oils in there. Uh, tea tree oil is great to clean out your skin. However, it's it's pretty it's pretty harsh stuff. So like one drop, um, and you're really gonna know about it. Um, but yeah, you could you could use you know um, something like a lavender oil or or an orange oil or something like that, or just cut up some lemons um, or use zest some lemons or oranges into your water. Um, rose petals in your water, and then put pour boiling water over that. Get a towel, put it over your head, and you've got an instant facial. There you go. Steam your face. It'll feel great. You'll feel great. Um, but do these little things that, that help de-stress, help cleanse the body, and, and you're going to feel like a completely different person. If you've been sluggish, if you've been lacking in energy, just been, been playing cranky lately, <laughs> try it. Um, you never know. It may, it may turn out great. Now, if I have time... I am going to put up a little uh, list of all of the teas and, and herbs and things so, so you can see them. Um, but if I don't have time, then just email me or comment me, and I will be happy to discuss it in further detail. Um, have a great day. I'm sorry this was so long-winded. <laughs> Hopefully I got everything in, but um, have a wonderful day, guys, and take care. Peace and love and much health to all of you.